Hey there, I'm Logtastic, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. In the last episode, it kind of went to black, and I was like, if it ended, that means it was a glitch? It was a glitch. Um, it was not supposed to do that. Apparently, if I was somehow able to blindly go into another room, uh, the right-hand side, it would have restarted correctly, but that was a glitch. So, I mean, I just have to start up again. So, apparently there's uh, 16 endings to this game. No, I'm not going to do all of them. Um, but, so certainly, you know, Google them, look on YouTube for the endings. I'm going to try one or two more, including this. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, Henry the desk. wait, nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Yep. Now it's just a little bit closer. Yeah. Now it's even closer. Also, apparently the broom closet could have gone on longer. Um, hey. The broom closet, if I went in there, it could have stayed longer and got more. Alright, so that can as an ending. I wonder if I get an achievement if I try it all. So, uh, the broom closet was another All ending. All co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yep. Hmm? Wasn't there supposed to be a corner window? I wonder if this is randomly generated. Ooh. Where does these load up different? That's when Stanley weird. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Whee! This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, there's ah, even some RNG in this too. A room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, yep. just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Why is that drop? simply stood here, drinking it all in. Random blue light. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Can't close it. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Alright, so apparently we can get onto that catwalk. Huh? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Me, me, me. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. What? Really? Whee! I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for <laughs> others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. No, you show don't. you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. I want a coffee. I don't drink coffee. No? Not give me a coffee? All right. That one has a letter on it. Ooh. Alright. Whoosh. Alright. Warning. Do not stand on this side of fence. Whoops. Now listen carefully. This is important. Okay. Stanley walked through the red door. Why? Hmm. Alright, so there is one ending. If you go through the blue door... Uh, again, look this up. I'm not doing it. 
You walk through the blue door three times, it says. I don't know what's on the other side. You get to a game that if you press two buttons, we have to walk back and forth across the room, for four hours, again, I'm not doing this, you get a special ending. YouTube, search the other endings. I'm not doing all of them. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Maybe. Stanley walked through the red door. No, 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 no. I still don't think we're communicating properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. A red room. An orange room. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Okay. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Maybe. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yes. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Okay. There we go. A Ooh. third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Do we follow what he says, or do we go over here? Hey, it's made of wood. You know what? Why not? Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Um, let's give it about a four. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. Funny. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train roaring. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Aha! Oh! What's this? Worldwide leaderboard. Am I connected to the internet? Good old Neil Skid. Did you know that 21% of players skip the intro sequence? Well, only is the worst three percent of players chose the blue door. This is you. I have not played for seven hours. You are objectively ranked the worst. I ask friends for help. Yeah, that's made up. Uh, some players are more attractive than Stanley. Oh, I'm the bot. I'm the one percent. Yay. <laughs> Dead Red is offline. This Dead Red is a drop of your ranks. One higher than me. This is you. <laughs> oh, they're mocking me. Whee! I'm going for it. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? No. Again, honest answers, please. It did not. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Yeah. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. <laughs> okay, that's loading kind of fast. That's nice. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? I'm not sure playing for four hours. On your experience. 
Clifford? Yeah, I'm not doing this for four hours. Bye, baby. Bye bye. You heartless bastard. Screw you too. You do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm There's a ladder. Out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. Bye. It's over. Bye. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mario? Do you have Mario? Or yes. Pac-Man? This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. I don't hate babies. I have a very young niece. She is awesome. Woo! Oh my god, Minecraft. Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. How do I jump? ever be enough? How do I jump? And I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Where? Oh, hey. Okay. This will go here. No, here. And then... Wait, how do you get in? Do. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And yes. To finish it all. Hey, off. let me in. Yes. It's complete. Awesome. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. Yeah, you've only gotten half the experience. Please step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if. Wait, that's it. What? We must rebuild it out of diamond. Ooh. Diamond everything. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Oh, he's letting me out now. Hold on. Oh, yeah, this is actually Minecraft music? Right, keep in mind, I can't jump. I can crouch, but I can't jump. So every step down, can't go back. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No. Okay. Um, can't believe this is actually in here. Ooh, mushrooms. Watch out for creepers, and skeletons, and zombies. Oh no 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 no! This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. I heard a zombie. That makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One heard a zombie. Five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. That's a zombie. Okay, new game. Spider. Oh, thank God. I was getting scared. It's been forever since I played Minecraft. Oh, man. Should I do a Minecraft LP? I mean, it's four years kind of late. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, oh. listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? It's I portal. figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. That's not how the portal started with. You had to go through a door over there. Oh, they didn't, they didn't put in the portal it's dynamics. Possible. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte.
Oh, clipping. Uh, I hope I don't need a copyright strike because of that sound. Genius. Uh, all right. Um. <gasps> Wait. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. Yeah. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games, and I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. How about an 8-bit farming simulator? Ratings. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. I think but what I'm kind of pay is that? My business, making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. There's stuff down Thought there. Won't last long. Goodbye, Stanley. Bye. Good luck with your work. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. Oh, this is Aperture. Oh, God. I hate heights. <gasps> oh my god, we're not dead. <sighs> Alright. Hey, my radio stopped. Alright. Which way up? Looks like I missed. Um. Fling candy. Alright, what's over here? Um, that's darkness. Um, am I stuck here? I think I'm stuck here, guys. All right, well, Geronimo again. Oh, I lost my radio. Ooh. It is not game over. Wait, which way do we go? 510? Not that way. Is this Half Life? I've never played Half Life. Alright. Um. Oh, found a light. Oh. Alright, you know what? That seemed very, uh, leading me towards that way. I'm gonna go back to that bigger room, just to see. Oh! I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. Am I? And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, Narcissistic? all this comes to a close. Then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Narcissistic much? I can wait. Ah, uh, did it glitch again? Oh! Okay, I actually clicked out of the window and almost closed uh, my recording software. All right, that was that playthrough. So I mean, definitely Stanley Parable. Check it out on Steam and see what you like. I'm gonna do one more playthrough. But until the next time, you're welcome to leave a like or a dislike, and you're always welcome to subscribe to catch more videos from me, Logtastic. But most importantly, until the next time, I want you to have yourself a fantastic day.